Hello kindergartners, thanks for watching my first ever math lesson video. I'm really excited that you guys are here and that you are working on getting your brain strong. Now before we begin, I have to tell you, this is Miss K's like 10th try trying to make these videos. It's a little tricky for me and sometimes it's hard for me to go with the flow when I make these videos. Sometimes I feel a little red when I'm making these because it's kind of hard to make these videos to teach you guys. Things are going the way I planned and you guys might be feeling the same way too. Maybe having your parents or your grandparents, your aunt or your uncle being your teacher is a little tricky. Maybe not going to school and seeing your friend is tricky. Maybe you sometimes feel a little blue about it. Maybe sometimes you feel a little red. So Miss K made sure that before I made this video that I took a little bit of a break and I did some breathing in my nose and out my mouth. And I did that while I was tracing my finger. Do you guys remember how we do that? How we breathe in? When I did that a few times and I just kind of told my body to calm down and that I just needed to go with the flow. So I'm going to do the best that I can and that's all we can really do kindergartners, right? Okay, kindergartners. Again, thanks for joining me on my math lesson. Before we begin, please make sure that you have your whiteboard as well as your whiteboard marker and something to erase with. And if you don't have it, that's okay. Go get some paper, a pencil, and even an eraser, okay? Now, kindergartners, we've talked a little bit about equations or number sentences. And this might, you might be thinking, Miss Kate, I don't really know what you're talking about. But this is actually something we've been working on for the past few weeks. Number sentences or equations look something like this. Two plus three equals five. Or seven plus one equals eight. These are what number sentences are equations. And we've been looking at a lot of ways that you can solve these number sentences. We've looked at using tally marks. That's where you draw the four lines. And then the fifth line is diagonal because you close the gate. We've used 10 frames to help us learn these. Two, three, four. And we've also used pictures as well. We've used all of these different things to help us solve number sentences. Today we're going to learn about a little bit of a different way. We're going to be learning about something called word problems. Can you guys say that with me? Word problems. Word problems are like real life situations. It's something that would happen or maybe a story. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to answer these problems, how to solve the situation, and we're going to be using pictures as well as number sentences to help us do it. Okay, kindergartners, you might be feeling a little confused, but I'm going to do an example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this example two times. The first time, I'm just going to read it and really listen. Then the second time, I'm going to draw pictures to help me understand a little bit more. Don't worry about picking up your whiteboard and your marker yet. I just want you to watch Miss K. All right. Are you ready, kindergartners? Jayliana has three crackers. And Nevea has two crackers. How many crackers do they have all together? Okay. So... Jayliana has three crackers, so I'm going to draw circles. They're not crackers, but it really doesn't matter about what I'm drawing. It matters that my brain is really working on that math part and it's getting really strong. So it's okay if you don't draw crackers. Just draw something really simple so you're working on your math, okay? So Jayliana has three crackers, so I drew through it here, and Nevaeh has two crackers, so one, two. How many crackers do they have all together? Okay, so Jayliana has three crackers. So one, two, three. Then Nevea has two, four, five. Oh, so they have five all together. Oh, that was pretty good, kindergartners. Great job. Let's do another one together. Now, this is a great time now to get your whiteboard out, your whiteboard marker, and your eraser so we can do this one together. 
I'm always going to be reading these number sentences two times, so this first time, let's just listen. Are you ready? Anna has eight sisters, and Koa has two sisters. How many sisters do Anna and Koa have all together? Okay, so Anna has eight sisters, so I'm going to draw eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Koa has two sisters. One, two. How many sisters do Anna and Koa have all together? Okay, this one I'm going to count it out again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anna and Koa have ten sisters. Now, we have a few ways that we can look at word problems. We can draw a picture, but what we can also do is we can put it in a number sentence. So let me show you what it looks like. So Anna has eight sisters. So I'm going to write an eight right here. And Koa has two sisters. So plus two, because Koa has two more sisters. Then how many do they have all together? We know that equal means it's all together. So it's ten, because we know eight plus two and two go together to make ten. Great job, kindergartners. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing number sentences just yet, that's okay. You're going to be practicing on these for the rest of the week, and Miss Kay is going to teach a lesson. So if you just feel comfortable with pictures right now, that's okay. All right, kindergartners, let's do another example together. Mateo gave Patrick three Lincoln Logs. Lucy gave Patrick four more Lincoln Logs. How many Lincoln Logs does Patrick have now? Okay, so Mateo gave Patrick three Lincoln Logs. Okay, so I'm going to draw three. One, two, three. Lucy gave Patrick four more Lincoln Logs. Okay, so let's draw four more circles. One, two, three, four. How many Lincoln Logs does Patrick have now? Okay, so... Let's start, let's count from the beginning because this is a little too big to subitize. So we're just going to count it and see how many Patrick has all together now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Patrick has seven Lincoln Logs. And the way we'd write this as a number sentence, let me show you what it would look like. Mateo gave Patrick three Lincoln Logs. So we're going to draw three right here. <clears throat> Lucy gave Patrick four more. So if there's four more, he's getting more. So let's add plus four. How many does Patrick have all together? All together, so we want to see what it equals. It equals seven, because we know three plus four equals seven. Great job, kindergartners. You are doing a awesome job so far. Now, kindergartners, we're going to look at these word problems a little bit different. There's a way that it's a little bit easier on our brain. We're going to be using the strategy counting on. This is something that we worked on in class. And if you don't remember what it is, that's okay. Let me show you what I mean real quick. Counting on is a little bit of a quicker way of counting. So, if I ate two muffins at dinner, and I ate three more before bed. I want to figure out how many muffins I ate, right? So I already know there's two right here. So instead of counting all the way from the beginning, I'm just going to count on. So two, three, four, five. Let's do another example together. My dog ate four bones at breakfast. And then she ate four more before bed. So you can see there's four right here, so let's count on. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight. It was a lot faster just to count on than to start all the way at the beginning. And this is something that I know a lot of kindergartners have a strong brain to do it, and you guys are gonna do a really nice job. Okay, so I'm going to be using that tool, that strategy, when I look at this word problem. So please put your whiteboard down and just listen to Miss Kate and see what she does. Raphael has four pencils in his backpack. Orion gives him two more. How many pencils are in Raphael's backpack? Okay, 
So Raphael has four pencils, so I'm going to draw four circles, because this shows how many pencils he's starting off with. And Orion gives him two more, so one, two. How many pencils are in his are in Raphael's backpack? So let's count on. So we know we have four, and what would come next? Five, six. So Raphael has six. So that was a lot, again, that was a lot faster than starting all the way at the beginning. And we can make this into a number sentence as well. So Raphael has four pencils to start. So I'm going to draw a four, write a four right here. Okay. And then I know that Orion gives him two more, so plus two, because they're adding it on. And we want to figure out how many he has all together. This equal means how many is are all together. What do these two numbers make? And we get six. Great job, kindergartners. Let's look at a few more word problems with counting on. You guys are doing a really great job focusing. Great job. All right. Miss Dunn has three stickers. Alicia gives her three more stickers. How many stickers does she have now? Okay, so Miss Dunn has three stickers. So how many circles do you think I should draw to show how many circles Miss Dunn has? Three, great job kindergartners. So one, two, three. Alicia gives her three more stickers. So one, two, three. How many stickers does Miss Dunn have now? So we know that there's three right here, so let's count on. So three, four, five, six. Miss Dunn has six stickers. And let's put it in a number sentence. Miss Dunn has three stickers, so let's write a three right here. And Alicia gives her three more. So plus three. How many stickers does Miss Dunn have all together now? Equals, because all together, six. Great job, kindergartners. That was a really nice job. This is our last one. So let's see if you guys can do it this time, all right? I'm going to read it two times just like we have been. Chris has five books in his book box. Miss K gave him two more books. How many books are in his book box? Okay. So, are you ready this time? Chris has five books in his book box. Okay, so five books in his book box. So how many do you think, how many circles should you draw on your whiteboard? Five, good job kindergartners. One, two, three, four, five. Miss K gives him two more books. So I'm giving him two more. So how many circles should I draw behind this five? Two more, good job. So one, two. How many books are in, in Chris's book box? Hmm, so we know we start off with five, so let's count on. So five, six, seven. Chris has seven books in his book box. Wow, that's a lot of books, isn't it? Now we can put this in a number sentence, so let's see if we can do it. So Chris has five books in his book box, so we know we're going to write a five right here. And Miss K gives him two more. So if I'm giving him two more, we want to add it on. Plus two, good job. How many books are in Chris's book box? All right. So we want to figure all together, what does it equal? We know that 5 plus 2 equals 7. Good job, kindergartners. You did a really nice job. So kiss your brains. I did it twice because that was a little tricky. And you guys did a very nice job. Now, something that's really exciting about word problems is you might hear your name or you might hear your friend's name, or you might just hear a name of somebody that you know. If you haven't heard your name, don't worry. I'm gonna make sure everybody's name gets in a word problem. We're going to be doing a math lesson on word problems at Friday at two. I'm gonna be on Zoom, so ask your parents or whoever you're living with, maybe your, your godparents, or your grandparents, your auntie, your uncles, your brother and your sister, and say, hey, can I go on this and do this math lesson with Miss K? I want to see if my name's going to be in a word problem. 
kindergartners, you did such a great job. Thanks for joining me today, and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye, guys.